You are about to join us on an adventure. My name is Wanger Wendy, intrepid explorer, former marine, Bible lover, and friend to animals everywhere. I've traveled the four corners of the globe, climbed mountains, forged rivers, and faced countless dangers to bring you the world's most interesting creatures. This is Quitter Kingdom. Welcome to Quitter Kingdom! <laughs> oh, you all know me, Wayne Jawedgy, and guess where we're going today aboard the Safari Express! <laughs> That's right, to the lovely, wonderful land of China. Can we see China on the map? Wow! Look how big it is and how far away. China is 7,967 miles away on the other side of the world. And it's a beautiful land, so large, and filled with so many exotic animals. And I know what you're thinking, Wenger Wedgie, you must have picked out a really crazy animal from across the world. Guess what? Today we have a very simple animal found all over China. It's the piglet. Can we see a picture of the piglet? There he is. You know, isn't he cute? It weighs a lot of piglets in China. Almost every farm has pigs on it. So I thought maybe we could get a friend to help us raise the piglet flag. You want to raise the flag? Come on over here. Right over here. Just pull up the flag. There you go. Oh, wrong way. Pull the other one. There you go. Right up there. Thank you. Woohoo! All the way to the top. Now that piglet right up there is my good friend Wazwo. <laughs> Can you say Wazwo? Yeah, well, well, I used to raise piggies, and he was one of my favorites. And you know what? Whenever I think of piggies, it reminds me of a Bible story. Let me get out the Bible and show you right now. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is the parable of the lost son. Now, I know what you're thinking. This story's about sons. But it has a lot of piggies in it, too. Yeah. In fact, this story is about a man who had two sons. And, well, it gets kind of complicated. You know what? I got a better idea. Instead of me reading it, I have a movie that tells this whole story. But it's an action-packed movie, and it requires you to do part of the work. Are you guys up for a job? Yeah. All right, good. There's going to be three animals in this movie. Every time you see an animal symbol, you have to do or say something. Mr. Brian, would you want to come up and help me teach them how to do it? Yeah, right. I'd love to. Here's what we're going to do. The okay. first animal is the panther. All right, so you guys, from this group over here to over here, you are going to be the panthers. Every time you see the panther, you're going to go like this. Oh, I love you. Let's try that. Aww. I love you. Very good, very good. All right, now this next group, how about let's say from here to about here, you guys are going to be the eagles. Let's check out what the eagle symbol looks like. All right, so this group, you're going to be eagles. When you see this sign, you need to do this. Give me, 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 give me. Can you try it? All right. Give me, 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 give me. Excellent, oh, excellent. Very okay, nice. awesome. the last but not least, over here, this group, you are the fishies. And whenever you see the fishy symbol, let's take a look. Whenever you see the fishy symbol, you're going to make a noise like this. Let's try it. Okay, you guys were the loudest of all. Pretty That's good. Great. All right, now everybody knows your part, right? And you know Got what it. to work for, okay? So you think you can do this? You ready? To, you ready to start? Okay, let's roll the film! Once upon a time, there was a young man. This young man lived with his father. One day, the young man decided he needed more. So the young man went to see his father.
the young man asked the father to give him his share of their money. Reluctantly, the father gave the son his share of the money. Once he received his inheritance, the young man left his father and searched for a new life. Not long after, the young man found his new life. But soon he squandered everything his father had given him. Left with nothing, the young man began searching for a new job. The only work he could find was feeding pigs. And the only food he had to eat was pig slop. Disgusting. While the young man was eating pig slop, he began to remember what it was like when he lived with his father. his father would make him a servant, the young man left the pigs and headed back to his father's house. As soon as the young man arrived at his father's house, he begged his father to make him a servant. But his father loved him so much that he welcomed him back home, not as a servant, but as a son.